О, еще пацан! Ну ща пойдет реальная пьянка! Ох ты, не слабо! Запасливый был отец! Сейчас бы водяры! Да под закусь душевно! Еще пацан! Нормально! Буграм, чё? Им чё? Им хорошо! Сидя себе с мобилами! Это чё за хрень? Опа, опа! И чё у нас тут? Насильно! О, маленькие! А тут ничего так, расклад! Опачки! Жмур сейчас со мной поделится, да? А ну, чики-брики в дамке! А танда! Не, ну ты чисто комик, ну ты ощи! Ай, мля! Hello guys, Ramon here. Yes, I am back. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Firstly, HP healing items. Med kit. Med kits are the very basic healing items. Slow usage, but more budget friendly, little bit heavy. Stim pack. Stim packs are pretty decent healing items. Fast usage, lightweight, but kinda expensive. Small survival kit. This item alone is the complete solution for low health, radiation and bleeding. The problem is, this item is rare and quite expensive. Long lasting healers. Yagilin. If you use this drug, it will replenish your HP from time to time. Side effect lasts like one minute, your vision will be kinda whacked during the time. So this is not the best healing item, however it's quite cost efficient, especially good to use for dealing kinda in between wound, which isn't bad enough to use a medkit while you're in a safe place. Tetanus vaccine. I am not really sure why this vaccine provides a prolonged slow HP region effect. Anyways it gives HP region, also some chemical resistance. So might be good to use this before try the artifact hunting in the chemical anomaly field. Diclofenac sodium. This one has the longest duration but minimum region speed. Interesting thing is, this item gives minor damage resistance. However, still there's no good reason to use this med. Except for Yagilin, since it restores some HP over time, you can save a med kit for minor wound, less than 40% of total HP. But rest of them have longer duration and they are also kinda pricey. Why having longer duration would be a problem? Because if you use different healing item over the slow region effect from these drugs, it will overwrite the healing effect and there won't be the slow region effect anymore. So unless this bug would be fixed, using these will be just waste of money. Bleeding control. Bandage. Yeah, bandage. A very common medical item and it's simple. This stops bleeding. If your character has really severe bleeding, better use a tourniquet or spamming a few more bandages. Tourniquet. A single tourniquet's bleed stopping power more than three bandages. But usually a bandage plus an army medkit is good enough. Personally I haven't ever used this item even for once. Small survival kit. We've already checked this item quickly in the medkit section. But still I wanted to mention this item once again. As the description, this item instantly stops heavy bleeding. However, as I said just before, mostly a bandage plus an army medkit would be good enough. But wait, what does that mean? Works with morphine as well. Yeah, unfortunately there's a known issue. Long-lasting anti-bleeding effects from morphine and other meds will override another bleeding control effect. Long-lasting bleeding stoppers. These have long-lasting bleeding stopping effect, but the amount is so small and only causing some issues. But, still they provide really useful buff, which is damage resistance, since these are cheap, long-lasting, and highly effective. But, compared to the best one, the morphine, rest of them are not worth. So I strongly recommend always go for the morphine and just ignore others. Stamina boosters. Stamina boosters are another very common items in the zone. Even if these are not gonna heal you, stop bleeding, or give some resistances. However, these are still one of the most important stuff, since the last thing you want to do would be, having some kind of walking simulator experience, or getting killed cause you ran out of stamina. Caffeine tablet. 
Caffeine tablet gives stamina boost but it's too small. So it's just good for reducing sleepiness, can't say this is a decent stamina booster. Strong energy drink. While you are running around in the zone, you've gotta love this drink. The cheapest and most reliable stamina booster, until you'll be able to afford better boosters. Hercules. Next tier stamina booster, kinda a steroid drink. This has relatively long lasting effect, and better carry weight increment. And this is also a core element for crafting epinephrine shot. Cocaine. Even a better stamina booster than Hercules drink. It definitely makes you feel good, since this drug provides a large amount of carry weight increment and stamina region. The effect is long lasting. Epinephrine shot. Epinephrine shot, or adrenaline shot, the best stamina boosting drug, and one of the most expensive drug in the zone. This drug provides insane amount of carry weight increment and stamina region. And the effect has really long duration. These medical packages are like traders trying to sell some extra not so popular drugs. No reason to buy these packages, but if you wanna use scientific Stimpak, then buying scientific med package could be not bad. Otherwise, just waste of money. Many medical items drain satiety level, induce sleepiness, and most of them increase thirst. Especially sleepiness and thirst could be able to annoy you. In Anomaly Mod, dealing with these sleepiness, thirst, hunger debuff is not a big deal. But sometimes it can be kinda deadly, especially after pulling through a few of rough battles, since you'd have used some medical items to survive. When the thirst meter goes yellow and you have no water. That's not good. If the thirst debuff becomes red, you literally can't do anything. So always have some water in your backpack, especially you are planning a long raid. This also applies to hunger and sleepiness, so grab some caffeine tablets as well. However, hunger should be the least concerning fact. Since some medical items drain satiety, but also some of them replenish it. Alright guys, this is the end of the medical items guide. If this video was helpful, please press the like button and consider subscribing my channel. It really helps me a lot. Thank you for watching, stay cheeky breaky.